they had piled up a massive pile of dirt to stop people from coming across because this bridge is closed. Are we live? <laughs> or are we member X? Some know. of you will get that. Are we live? Go look over there yeah. and see if we're live. Should we be live? Are we live? See, this, this, yeah, we're live. Know, Randy doesn't have her phone because it's running the camera. I have my phone because it's it's running my notes. So we don't we don't know. I don't want to stand. You can stand up a little bit further because that'll make you like taller than me. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you just tuned into the morning devotion. We're here to encourage you through the word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today let's open in a word of prayer Heavenly Father Lord I pray that you would bless your word today that it Lord be seed planted in our hearts to bring forth a crop of faith Lord and confidence in you in Jesus name amen amen amen, amen. 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 I was out on a trail yesterday and as we were out on the trail, hold that for a second. Uh, as we were out on the trail, we got to a sign that said, road closed. Well, you, you know. For a normal car. For, for a normal, we're thinking like, well, let's go see how closed it is. I mean, it might be washed out, might be, might be the gullies, you know, there, whatever. So, so we drove on down and it's kind of bumpy and kind of washed out and ruts were all down in the road, some of them like about this deep. And then we got to a place where the culvert was gone and was able to drive through it. There's a like a drop off on this side and a drop off on that side, but there was enough room for me to get my tires up in there and clay That's spotted right. us through. And we got up and we drove a little bit further. Then buried in the bushes is a sign that says three ton weight limit. We're thinking now, now, now you, three ton for a bridge is not very much. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, is our Jeeps more than three tons? You know, <laughs> how much does my Jeep weigh? Uh, but then we got to this huge hill of, of red clay that was about this tall and pretty steep. And on the other side of that was this old rickety bridge. Uh, and I looked at that bridge and there were places where the boards were gone. There were places where nails were sticking up. Obviously, Michael had come through there three, three years or Hurricane so ago. Michael. Hurricane yeah. Michael and just, just ripped everything out. Well, in my mind, I'm hearing Steve Irwin, danger, danger, danger. R Randy doesn't hear that. She hears <laughs> danger, danger, the robot from <laughs> Lost in danger, Space. <laughs> danger, danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Uh, it, it would have been absolutely dangerous. Yeah. Potentially, you could have lost your life because if the bridge had collapsed while we were trying to drive across it, um, we could have gone upside down into the river. There, there, so, so this is what we decided to do. Turn around. Because that's the best thing to do. In, in the consequences of following after things that are dangerous. I mean, we, we, we made a choice. That's not what we're going to do. We're not going to do something that's dangerous. This is what it says in Proverbs 27, verse 12. The prudent sees danger and hides himself but the simple go on and suffer for it <laughs> one more time proverbs 27 verse 12 the prudent sees danger and hides himself turns around leaves gets away from that danger mm -hmm. but the simple go on and they suffer Sorry. for it we had an alternative route that we could have driven off the edge of a very steep bank into a place where they put a bunch of granite boulders and then we could have tried to drive across the river and maybe made it out the other side we would have had an incredible adventure but it would have been dangerous yeah. so we decided the best thing for us to do yeah. is to turn around yeah. now let's bring this into a, a real life application and this is proverbs 14 and 6 and it says this. I'm sorry. If you got it, you can start if you want. Uh, to. It's only one line. It's one verse. Okay. One who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil, 
but a fool is reckless and careless. One who is wise and cautious, <laughs> and one who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil. Yes. So real life application, danger can be found in things that are evil. Mm -hmm. When you begin to pursue a path of stuff that you know that the Bible says is wrong, stuff that you know that the Bible condemns, behaviors that lead to destruction, a wise person will be cautious and say, hold on a second, I just don't know if that's true. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what, what God's Word says about that. And so a wise person would exercise caution and say, I'm going to look it up. I want to see what it says. And when you discover that something that maybe that you're doing or something that you've done or you're hanging out with some people and they're doing things that wrong. Are, are wrong scripturally, that are unhealthy or, or just plain what the Bible would call an abomination, well, it says a wise man turns away. That's what repentance is. Repentance is to turn away from the things that we used to do. Yes. We technically repented at that bridge. We saw it was dangerous. We turned around and we went back out the way we came. Yes. We had to backtrack. Well, sometimes in life, you might have to backtrack a little bit. But when you see something that is wrong, go away from it. No. Don't get involved in it. Stay clear. Yes. But a fool is reckless and careless. A fool would have said, hey, I'm just going to drive on across that. I don't care if that bridge looks all messed up. I'm just going to go. Well, it was reckless. It would have been reckless and careless. Well, lastly, I want to look at what, what I'm going to call the promise. And if you've ever wanted, you ever wanted to memorize an entire chapter out of the Bible, and I'm going to go with King James on this. Okay. This is, this is, this is what I call the promise. And Randy's going to read this chapter in the Bible is only two verses. This is Psalms 117. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Amen. Praise ye, ye the, the Lord. Lord. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Amen. Praise him, all ye people. There's that thing that we say all the time. Keep a praise song in your heart. And rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. rejoice. It says, this is the reason. For he, for his merciful kindness, God's, is great toward us. And now here's the thing that's the promise. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Well, first off, you praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even in circumstances, you need to remember verse number two. His merciful kindness is great toward you. God's merciful kindness is great toward you. And it finishes that out with, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. That promise endures forever. The promise that his merciful kindness is great toward you. And when you know that God's merciful kindness is with you, and that's a truth from God and it will endure forever that means it, it, it works through all situations in your life well then what's the last few words say praise ye, ye the Lord, Lord. <laughs> keep a praise song in your heart rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice we'll see you tomorrow morning we should be up in lower Alabama by tomorrow <laughs> uh, up in a place called Altmore as we finish out this five-day trail ride across the panhandle. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later.